Hello, Leo, and welcome to your August reading. Happy birthday, Leo. How exciting. We are in Leo season as well, so I hope that you are feeling amazing. I cannot wait to look into your energy today and feel what your energy feels like. Um, we're going to look into the sun, moon, and rising signs. Cross watchers, remember energies can be re reversed. Leo, energies can be reversed, so assign everything as you please. If this reading does not resonate with you, that's a possibility. I'm not going to resonate with every single person. I hope that I resonate with you, but if I don't, then, you know, it is what it is. But stay tuned because I don't just do a reading. I actually do the essential oils that would be best for you this month, the crystal, and then also we do a releasing of trapped emotions at the end, which will be for anger, which is hiding in the liver, and crying, which is hiding in the lungs. We're going to release those out at the end. During this reading, the Holy Fire Reiki energy has been activated. If your higher self wants it, then you will get the energy. If your higher self does not, then don't worry about it. You don't have to do anything. It just won't accept it. It's not that big of a deal. But I do make sure that it is available to you in case you do want it. All right, guys. So let's get started with your reading. Um... So I don't know what's going to come out today, but I do know communication is huge and that people cannot hold their tongues any longer. There is like the universe is pushing communication together this month. So I am so excited to see what's going to be happening. I want to thank all the people who've donated to my channel. There is a link in the description box down below. Um, and I want to thank all the people who've watched these videos multiple times, who have watched the ads and bought things off of Amazon and the links down below. So thank you so much. I appreciate that. And, oh, new people that are here. Thank you for coming. I appreciate you. Thank you for checking out my channel and seeing if we resonate together. If you do like this video... Um, you know, consider subscribing. Thank you. All right, Leo. So we have some decisions being made. Okay, some stable energy. Very good. Um, okay. Okay. Well, happy birthday to you. We got a tower. I'll go ahead and dive into that. Don't worry. Oh, well, that's a good outcome, though. That's beautiful. Okay, coming here, Queen of Swords, good for you. Ooh, we have a good, um, very nice. We have good stuff going on. All right, so it's time to put our burdens down and start planning for the future. Actually, it's changing your plans for the future. That's what it is. And it's going to put you in a really stable place. Okay, so let's take a look at this. The overall energy for the month is putting the burdens down. So a lot of the stuff that you've been carrying for a long time, it's time for you to put it down. It's time for you to, to put that heaviness, or like get rid of the heaviness. It's ready to be done, all right? Um, this is a card of being done, and then the new beginning comes right after this. What I'm seeing right here is that you were planning for the future in a certain way, and then you're like, you know what? I really need to plan for it this way. So something enlightened you to make you go, huh, you know what? I really think that um, there's a better way. There's a better way for what I want and what I'm doing. And, and the plans I had before were pretty good. They were pretty awesome. And it needs to change. There needs to be some adjustments to be required, right? So, and this person is, is letting go of one and grabbing on to another, you know? And it's like there's more on this side than on this side. So it's like he drops this hand and then he grabs this one over here. And so there's something that you're kind of looking at in a different way and saying, hmm, yeah, like your vision's starting to change a little bit. And then right here is um, that because of that change in vision, what's going to happen is it's going to make you more unstable ground and you're going to have more things sprouting up for you. More ideas, more um, just more things just coming up, right? And, and you're saying like, oh, that's a good idea. And, oh, that's a good idea. Oh, that's what I want to do. So there's a lot of that happening this month. Um, you're coming from an energy of feeling not very stable within yourself not very stable and with what you were doing, not very grounded, just kind of like, oh gosh, I don't know. You, you know, it's like, oh, I just not feeling uh, like 
like I set this up in the right way for me. Like maybe you set it up in the right way for someone else, but um, now it's like you're like looking at it in a lot different way and saying, you know what, what would really be best for me? Not for you. So I've been doing a lot of learning about codependency because I grew up in a narcissist home and then what that does for your relationships. And um, one of the things that, and I'm not saying you're codependent, but it's something to look at, that what I'm feeling from this card is something of codependency, though. It feels like um, you put other people's happiness before your own, and uh, and in the hope that if they rescue, if you rescue them, that they will rescue you, and you rescued them, and then there was nothing in return. It was kind of like you're still waiting for them to extend the boat to you to come get you. It's kind of like if you gave someone a boat, like the last boat on the land, and you're like, okay, I'm going to save you. And then when you get to the other side, send the boat back and come get me. You know what I mean? And they're like, like, but you say that like without telling them. So they don't really know. Um, it's like, like, uh, telepath, like, uh, unconscious. So like you let them go and then the boat never returns. And you're just sitting there waiting at the dock, like, okay, where's the boat? You know what I mean? Like, <laughs> like you're waiting. Like, you're going to come get me? You know? And they're, like, off having, like, the blast. They're, like, drinking and having fun. And, oh, I feel so great and life's so wonderful. I'm so glad that I'm saved. And you're still waiting at the dock. And they forgot who saved them. You know what I mean? It's kind of that energy. So very interesting. All right. So the question you're asking is, um, you're, you... Okay, this right side up is that you are looking at the things that you have accomplished. Uh, upside down says, um, wow, what does it say? It says, let me feel it, that you can see all the things that you've accomplished, but you feel like there's something missing. It's not fully there. And you're asking the universe about it. You're like, look at, look at all these things I've done in life and all these things I've learned in life. And there's something missing. Is it the fact that the boat never returned? You know, is it the fact that you give, give, given, and then you haven't gotten, gotten, gotten? You know, um, is it the fact that you put someone else's happiness before your own? What, what did we do here, Leo, that made us look at our life and say, look at all this that we've done, but there's something missing. Maybe that you're missing love. Maybe, and Leos have a tendency to give love, give love so much and then it doesn't return. And so I'm feeling like maybe you're finding that out, that you have given so much love and it hasn't returned. Not in the way that you thought it would. You thought that if you rescued someone that they would rescue you. And it's not what happened. They got happy and they're living the life of their dreams and what they want. And you're still waiting for yours waiting for someone to save you. And I was reading this book and it says that white knight is never coming. The white knight is never coming because the white knight is you. You have to save yourself. So you spent all this time and all this energy saving someone else and you didn't save yourself. So then it's like you're, you don't trust it. You know, you don't trust um, saving yourself because you're like, I don't know. There's, there's a lack of trust there. Interesting. So your, um, your hope is happiness. You're looking, you're looking to what is missing. My happiness is missing. I'm able to make everybody else around me happy, but I can't, why can't I, why can't I be happy? So the happiness, and this is Leo season. You're, you're, Hopes and dreams are Leo season, and we are in the season of Leo. Okay, I have a feeling this is going to be a longer reading than I just did for the other signs, so um, bear with me. All right, so um, we have some rocky waters, and, and in August, there's going to be some turbulence. Don't fret, because it's turbulence that's going to bring stability. The turbulence is going to rock you a little bit and rock your boat a little bit so that you can make decisions. And these decisions are gonna be grounded in stability. It's gonna be grounded in something that's more reliable. Um, 
it's going to be grounded in lo loyal. What's loyal? What what is what are the things that can improve your money? What are the things that are more dependable? Um, what are the things that are going to make you more secure? These are the decisions that you're making here. Um, you're going to be planning. It's going to be planning for the long term. You're going to be planning for growing old. Is this the way I want to grow old? Is this who I want to grow old with? Um, did you know why is it that I can't be happy with this person? What is missing? Okay, or with this job, or with the you know the setup that I have? Why? What is making me hold back from loving myself? Why? Because you poured your love into all these other people, so you don't have any love for yourself, right? Um, what's coming towards you is something very spiritually guided. So the, the universe has their hand in the next step for you. As long as you follow your intuition and you follow what God is trying to show you and tell you, then you're going to move into a really good spot. If you decide to turn your back on the universe and what they are trying to tell you because of fear or you're scared of pain or you're scared of turbulence or you're scared of a tower moment or whatever the issue is, you're, the next thing that will come will be karmic lesson devil energy. Okay, because don't turn your back on it because the universe is trying to guide you and show you the direction to go in. Leo, be sensitive to it. Um, so, um, the, the, the energy that you're going to be in is this tower moment. I'm going to dive into the tower moment a little bit because we got people around you that are being super negative. Um, so, maybe they're going to throw you into a tower moment with their negativity. That's possible. The towers don't have to stay forever. Don't get sucked into the um, emotion for too long. Um, like I had a tower moment yesterday and, you know, I cried it out and did what I needed to do. Um, but just like let it, let it go and then see what it's trying to teach you and then move from it. Okay, but let's see. Let's get some information about the tower moment. That's coming up in August. And towers just mean new beginnings right after that. So I'm, although I wasn't jumping up for joy during the tower moment, I did know that it was going to create a new beginning for me. It is letting me see things that I don't really want to see or didn't want to see and then helped me move forward from that. Okay. Yeah, so the tower moment is... That okay, there's I gotta read this both ways. You were feeling left out in the cold in some sort of relationship, or you left someone out in the cold, and the tower moment is gonna help you come to that person. And now you guys will not be out in the cold anymore, so the tower moment is gonna be very beneficial. Um, it means that you're going to be uh, moving towards someone that will find what will open the door for you, okay. They, they will open the door. Like maybe you're afraid that if you come to this person, maybe you have an apology or maybe you have some reason why you have to go to someone um, or you want to go to someone. You're feeling the intuition. If, if God is giving you the intuition to go to that person, it means the door is open. Um, it means that you're, you, you will have happiness with this situation. And after the tower moment, you're going to get the world. So this is going to be a very beneficial tower moment for you this month. So thank goodness. That's beautiful. It's going to be really good. The tower moment is going to push you forward. You're going to have a tower moment that's going to awaken your senses, psychic abilities, okay? Uh, awaken your intuition, awaken, just awaken you in all general, like your third eye and everything. You're going to have a tower moment that's really going to brighten you up. And it's going to make you want to come forward. So what's going to happen in, in zero to three months from now is this, whatever's going to go on, is going to fill all of your cups. You're going to start to see that um, through the healing that you do, or maybe you do with this person, you guys are going to start to learn how to fulfill your cups. So I have a feeling that both of you guys in this relationship are givers. You might both be, both be codependent givers. So codependent is um, where someone is dependent on your giving and you give, 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 and there's no return. So I feel like both of you guys kind of want to pull back on your giving and maybe you'll come together 
and you're going to learn through like the conversations that you have with each other about how this giving can actually work in a more healthy way. Um, so I just feel like you guys are both givers. Um, and uh, this is, you're moving towards someone who's more spiritually um, advanced than you are. And you're going to offer them some communication. You're going to offer them some, um, like you're going to open the lines of communication with this person. So whether that's this month or three months from now, the lines of communication are going to be open. This month, you're definitely going to have some sort of moment which will awaken you to this has to, this has to go in this direction for your healing, for their healing. And it's about a deeper level of healing than what you think. So you might think that, oh, this is just going to heal the surface level pain. But um, it, it, there's deeper pain and then there it's not pain. There's um, unhealthy habits that both of you guys have. And I'm hearing that maybe that's why you didn't come together in this friendship or relationship or romance or whatever, is that because um, it would have hurt a lot more back then or whatever because you guys had the same, you guys mirror each other in the same type of codependent giving. And so um, it, right now is the time to work on that because one, you didn't even know about it. And two, they didn't know about it. And now they now you do, and so it's like, okay, what do we do, and how do we work on this, and what how can how can we make this more healthy? Because both of you guys tend to attract people that are very selfish. You tend to attract people that are um, inadequate on giving to you. Um, they just don't. Um, how, what is the word I'm trying to look for? They're emotionally unavailable. They're not available to you. Um, and so I'm just, I, you, you, you attract takers. And this relationship is two givers. And so, um, but two givers that give way too much. So what, what could have happened is one of you guys would have, been, would have ended up being a taker. Maybe you guys, yeah, it, it just wouldn't have been equal give and take. So there's got to be, there's, there's some lessons and learnings in the relationships that you were in or are in are really good relationships because they're teaching you a lot. Um, about this situation so that when you do come together, this is going to be a slowly growing relationship because there's a lot of healing that needs to happen with it, whether it's a friendship or whatever, some kind of relationship. Um, and it's going to really help in three to six months from now. It's going to help all the anxiety that you've just lived with your whole life. It's going to um, help you understand it, uh, help you uh, be aware of it, um, because the anxiety I'm hearing for you, Leos, you, makes you work more, makes you forget what you're, you know, I don't want to think about life. I just want to dive into work. And that's the same thing with this person. I don't want to think about what's going on in my life. I just want to dive into my work. And um, that is unhealthy. So it's going to help you, both of you guys, release this anxiety. And it's not an anxiety where, you know, like maybe you do bite your nails or something like that, but it's not obvious to the outside person. Most people would think, oh my gosh, Leo is so stable. Leo's doing so great. Leo is amazing. Look how hard they work. Um, and the, the reality of it is, is you do that because of anxiety, but they, but it doesn't look that way. It doesn't look like the, like anxiety where you're picking at your face or you're picking at your lips or where people can actually see, oh, that person looks really anxious. No, it's not that type of anxiety. It's actually an anxiety that makes you dive into your work because you just don't want to think about it. You don't want to think about it. Um, it's going to bring the masculine and feminine together. So we have the sword of truth. So lots of truth. Um, so this is the relationship, a masculine feminine relationship, which it doesn't matter if you're male or female. It really doesn't matter. It could be female, female, male, male. It could be a friendship. It could be a love. It doesn't matter what it is. Whatever soulmate is coming into your existence. Um, the, the queen of swords is a person who can see the truth. She is very life experienced. She's very strong. She's going to take risk when it comes to love and relationships. Um, she's very determined. She's wise and she could see the bigger picture. She's super strong in adversity. Not only that, but she's really good at business. So, um, this is, this is awesome. Now we have the king, I'm sorry, the emperor, which is, a masculine who is strong and people come to him for advice. Um, he is very worldly known, very wise, very cultured, um, and, and strong. So both of these people are very strong. They've seen life. 
they can relate really well to each other because they're mature in the relationship. They're about as mature as you can get. Okay, they've been there, done that, seen it. And that is really beautiful, Leo. I love that. That's gorgeous. Um, the essential oils for you this month are Ylang Ylang, which is going to help you be a little bit more um, in the essence of the inner child. Ylang Ylang is also good for the heart. Uh, it is a great cardiovascular oil. Um, it is a beautiful oil for connecting in with the inner child to have maybe these relate these conversations that you want to have. And I was telling a lot of the signs earlier that whenever you have conversations this month, it's really important that you invite your angels and spirit guides into the conversation so you can get infinite intelligence. Um, don't, don't just be quick at the tongue, uh, ego, egotistical tongue conversation. That's not what we're having here. It's going to be more conversations of uh, because this is divinely guided, remember, spiritually guided. This is going to help you with that. Also, you have tangerine, which is spontaneity. So it will get you into feeling more like um, not so methodical about your decisions. So when you're because when you jump forward to this conversation, it's going to be jumping forward, childlike experience. I want to have this again type of beautiful thing. Now, in the description box down below, there's going to be these two oils with a $35 membership. $35 membership, it'll give you 25% off of these oils and 25% off for the entire year. When you do it that way, and don't buy these off of Amazon because Amazon, um, that's why I don't have an Amazon link because sometimes you can get uh, adulterated oils or not the right oils. I only get doTERRA essential oils and I only buy them from the company. Um, I will, when you buy them from me, then I will assign you a person that will be your direct person to talk to where you could um, ask them about the oils. You can ask them how to use them. You can get more training from them. And they're just a really great source. So you will be connected in with someone that can help you with that. So you won't be just by yourself. Let's go ahead and get to your um, crystal of the month and then release these trapped emotions. And this energy was so serious, I think I need to take a break. I don't know, we'll see. Yeah, I felt like it was very um, strong. What crystal would be best? Garnet, ignite your passion. Oh, I truly believe that. I also believe amethyst as well. Amethyst is trust your intuition and ignite your passion. And I'm feeling the same thing here. Trust your inner child intuition and then ignite your passion and be spontaneous and do it. That's basically what these are saying. Um, I have amethyst. I wear, I like amethyst a lot. I have it all over my house. I wear it a lot. It's beautiful for intuition. And then um, garnet, I don't have any, any of that at all, but I'll put links in the description box down below for you guys so that you can get those, okay? Those would be great for you. Oh, let's find out about Garnet because I don't know much about Garnet. All right, it's to spice up your life. Wow, I'm just going to read this because I don't know much about it. So ignite your passion. You need a little spice in your life? Light a match to kindle your fiery, passionate nature. The heated energy that comes from raw passion will fuel your sense of excitement in everything you do. Instead of succumbing to what, at times can be the monotony of everyday routines. Approach the people and projects in your life with enthusiasm and renowned vigor. This perspective will energize all areas of your life, including your relationships, career, challenges, and projects. That's awesome. Core question, what gets you out of bed in the morning? What lights your fire in your soul? And how can you bring more passion to some of the less exhilarating parts of your day? Um, a good affirmation would be, my inner fire brings passion to every day. <laughs> I love it. All right, guys, go ahead and sit back. Listen to the music. And let's go ahead and release this, these trapped emotions of anger in your liver and crying in your lungs. Go ahead and breathe in and center yourself. And breathe out. Ground yourself. And breathe out. Keep breathing, and I'm going to invite Archangel Michael in. Archangel Michael, I ask for your assistance, please, as we release these trapped emotions for Leo today, which are anger in, your, in the liver and crying in the lungs. And we will start with anger. 
where I want you to think Leo about something that makes you really angry. Maybe something that happened recently or maybe something that happened in the past. But think about something that made you really angry. And I want you to see how your liver just lights up with anger. It turns red and it has like this red fiery like just wants to explode on someone feeling, right? So breathe in. Grab that anger out of your liver, scrape it all the sides and breathe out. Archangel Michael, I ask that you transmute that anger that they've been holding in their liver uh, into light energy so they don't have to feel that through the month of August. And they promise that they'll come back as many times as possible if they get angry again, okay? So breathe in and breathe out. Thank you, Archangel Michael, for transmuting that anger that they've been holding on to. And now we're going to work on crying. Yeah, crying is interesting because um, my eyes have been watering for the last four days. I cannot get them to quit watering. And um, I'm not dehydrated and I don't have allergies. They're just, it's like your inner child is crying right? When your eyes water like that. So if you've experienced something like that, let's go ahead and see if we can remove the crying that's been trapped in your lungs. And so breathe in and grab all that crying out of your lungs and breathe out and breathe in. Get the rest of it and breathe out. Archangel Michael, I ask that you, uh, you gather up all that crying that Leo has done and trapped in their lungs throughout these years. And um, if you transmute that into light energy, please, so that Leo can move on the month of August and not have to worry about their eyes watering for no reason <laughs> or just this deep sense of, of sadness in their, in their body because they're breathing and feeling all this crying from the past. So breathe in one more time. Let's get everything that we can. And breathe out. Awesome. Thank you so much, Archangel Michael, for um, helping us today. And I, I thank the angels and spirit guides that came and the loved ones and spirit that came and surrounded the Leos today as we had this reading and we had um, this meditation as well. And we're very thankful for the experience. All right, Leo, thank you so much for coming to the video today. And... Um, if you like this video or entertain it some way, don't forget to like and subscribe. Hit that notification bell. You guys have a great day. Bye.